There's two quests here. The boss head over in Hallgrads are right arrogant so-and-so, cause of the Lord Commander, apparently. I'm looking back up, though. Where is he's a couple of swordsmen, as why is a political operator? This is terrible. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I know, pal, I know. But I think you've had enough for one day, don't you? Oh, what difference does it make? I just don't care anymore. Aye, well, you'll care in the morning if you carry on like this. I tell you what, why don't I help you polish off that little lot in front of you? A problem shared is a problem halved after all. Wait. How exactly is this going to solve anything? What do you mean? It's obvious, isn't it? He doesn't drink so much that he ends up regretting it. And I drink just enough to have a grand old time. Uh, okay. So, who is this guy anyway? A, a friend of yours? Not really, no. I, I just ran into him in here and I thought I'd better not leave him by himself. So uh oh, watch out. Do, do you want to hear a story that will make your hair stand on it, boy? Uh... Sure, if you think you can manage to tell it. My luck is just terrible, <laughs> awful. First of all, the water started to rise, and that messed all the tides up. And that meant that the fish moved, which meant there were none to be had in my usual fishing spot. You'd think that was bad enough, but things got <clears throat> worse. I was making my way home, empty-handed, when I was attacked by a snaggin. Uh, did I have a... Sahagin. Obviously, I ran for my life. But I was so panicked... ...that I dropped my precious knife. It's a very special knife, see? My master gave it to me when I became a fully... <laughs> Fledged fisherman. Okay. A gift from your master. Eh? Then we have to get it back for you. Hey, don't worry, pal. I'm on it. No, no. I can't ask you to do that. That horrible monster carried it off and... Seriously, pal, don't worry about it. We can handle a sahagin or two. But... Look, this knife. Your master gave it to you, right? It means a lot to you. And if it makes you feel better... I'll not be doing this for free. You can buy me a dram or two to say thanks. How about that? Well, yeah. All right then. <laughs> Anything for a drink, huh? Wow. What? Horton's diary? Treat the power of the ashes knows no bounds. Our brother was a form of war, and yet I was able to overcome with ease, and be hair bearhead no less. All I do is I cut the sword by him being kicked to death by a chiding horse, and no one would be any the wiser. At last, Lang stands in the way of my becoming Prime Minister. Now it remains to marry off that boss from Princess Gloria to someone so compliant and, the, and with the appropriate the wind crystal. To someone so compliant and appropriate the wind crystal. The real potential flying the ointment is hers in suffer and several old chap chaperones, Sir Sloan. Still, let the mercers I have engaged not be able to handle. If I lend the asterisk Lord Adam gave me, this should make short work of him. It's a full it's a foolproof plan, and when it succeeds it and succeed it shall, how soon be mine. Why is it in the library? Why is it in, in the inn? <laughs> What's got you so excited, Adele? Me? Oh, the innkeeper's been telling me about all the local cuisine. Did you know Halcyonia is famous for its food? I can't wait to try some. Oh yeah? What kind of food are we talking about here? All kinds, but seafood mainly. Shellfish and seasonal vegetable bouillon, a squid wrapped in seaweed. But the dish I like the sound of best is the silver smelt sauteed in lemon butter. Hmm. Silver smelt? People eat those things? You know what they are? Yeah, they're pretty rare, but sometimes they get tangled up in our nets. They look, well, kind of weird. Ugh. 
What kind of person would even think of taking a bite out of one of those? They're certainly not the prettiest. But you wait till you taste one. Mmm. Nothing brings out that flavor like a knob of butter and a squeeze of lemon. Pop a few nice fluffy potatoes on the side and there's simply nothing better. Oh, I have to try this. Sure, it sounds delicious, but silver smelt? Seriously? Do they really look all that disgusting? <laughs> Gosh, now I really want to try some. All right, I'm sold. I'll take the silver smelt and make it snappy. Ah, uh, there's just one thing, sorry. I should have mentioned this, but I got a little carried away. I'm afraid we're all out of butter. Have been for a while now. There's been word of a wolf on the road to the city, you see. The merchants we rely on are all too scared to make the trip. No ordinary wolf, mind you. They say it's the size of a small mountain and capable of eating a whole flock of sheep in one sitting. But if we get rid of it, you'll cook me some fish, right? Right? Well, yes, I suppose, but... Say no more? One giant wolf pelt coming up. You've really never seen a silver smelt, huh? Oh, quit sniping. Everyone's a winner. No more wolf for these guys to worry about. And I get to try <laughs> something new. Well, come on. Where's the harm? Huh? Huh? You get pretty antsy when you're hungry. Hey, that's what everybody back home used to say. Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Fine. All right. Whereabouts can we find this wolf? On the north road, if the rumors are to be believed. Great. Let's get out there and find it. For the sake of your livelihood. And Adele's stomach. Oh, I'd say the latter is your more immediate concern. <laughs> you too? Oh, fine. If you're going to be like that, I'll be outside. Hey! Oh, man. Guess I'd better get after her. I need Fenrir. Huh. Look at the shop. Oh, high potions. And ethers. like we found that fisherman's knife. Aye. Just look at that sea, eh? I seen it now, you'd never think it could rise up like it did. Yeah. The waves have died down some since the storm. But you should have seen it. I can imagine. Just goes to show how badly we need the crystals. Everything all right, Lady Emma? Wind's picking up. Looks like there's a storm brewing. You don't quite seem yourself today, uh, if I may say so. I've been thinking about the past. Ah, uh, reminiscing, eh? Something like that. Can't believe it's been 50 years already. Aye, 50 years is a... Wait, 50 years? Uh, Lady Emma, 
if you don't mind me asking, just how old are you? I do mind you asking, as it happens, you impertinent so-and-so. I am a lady, you know. Oh, um, uh, I, sorry. <laughs> Ugh, stop with your bowing and scraping, it's embarrassing. Not that I mind seeing you show a bit of respect every now and then. If you can manage to take things more seriously once in a while, we might make a half-decent scholar of you one day. And when we do, I'll tell you. About the past, I mean. Wait, so what does that make me now? Quarter decent? Ah, uh, third and a bit. <laughs> Come on, it's got to be at least a quarter. Not even close. Have you forgotten the mark you got in that last test? It was your lowest ever. Quarter's too good for you, you great knucklehead. Knuckle? You've got a long, long way to go yet, and don't you go thinking otherwise. But if I can cram one thing into your thick skull in the meantime, let it be this. Maybe she's got the black mage answers on right now. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. I wonder if... I wonder if she's not actually dead. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. <laughs> right. Better get this knife back to his rightful owner and claim our reward, eh? Just a couple of drinks, okay? Aye, just a couple. Come on, let's shake a leg. Okay, before we go back... Well, we're gonna go back until we finish everything first. But I want to try this guy now. I think I might be able to kill him now. Oh wow. He is hard still. Yes, right, 52,000? Dang. Alright. Yeah! You're 
going to regret hurting my friends. This will make you feel better. Okay. Will okay. not What's be the plan? You will regret your impertinence. Let me help you. Oh man, get it! It's my time to shine. <laughs> I'll take that. Let's keep it up. Ah, I'm done. Oh. Not yet. Okay. Looks like we found our wolf. You're going to pay for getting between me and my dinner. <laughs> huh. I've never seen you this fired up about anything. This will not take long. Okay, what's the plan? Oh, man! To arms! I hope you can hold. Right. Let's see! Get out of there! No! Still right, standing! Let's oh, know where that came from! Let's try that again. Oh, it's not that hard. Guess it's my turn. Found your Achilles heel. Maybe I should try something else. <laughs> In your heart. Hmm. What's the plan? Yeah. To arms. Okay then. Oh, man. All right then. Yeah. Oh, the man, boss, I kind of imagine, won't be you know, we won't be able to kill it. So we'll have to do this. I will be able to catch, I mean. Yeah. Well, this is not the steal. That sucked. Our voyage the waste is over thing. Yet. Great, you can steal a lot anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. You can build up pretty quick. Hurt so bad! Yes! Can we JP for that? Dang. Question is, should I try and go for raising magic too? Adele? Um, I mean, there! Now the road to Halcyonia is finally safe again! <laughs> Guess we'd better go tell the- Sure enough. Staff. Plus sixteen sort of power. So it's bearing the rune staff in that regard.
is there overall? That's my master's knife. Oh, thank you. Thank you so. Just like him. Warms the cockles of your heart, eh? Sure, I guess. So, you said this was your master's knife? Uh, it's very special. The king himself gave it to him. He must have done something pretty amazing to deserve a gift like that. Oh, he did. He changed fishing forever. See, back when he started, all the fishermen were disorganized, disgraceful ruffians. But he cleaned them up, taught them to take pride in their work, and gave them a real sense of purpose. The king was so impressed, he asked my master to become his fisheries minister. My master refused. He didn't want to work in an office. He wanted to be out on the boats with the others. Choosing a life of hard graft over a cushy job with a posh title, eh? There's a lot to admire about that. There is, isn't there? Come to think of it, the king said the same thing when he presented him with the knife. My master kept fishing until his dying day. And when he finally passed on, he left me his prized possession keeps me safe out of the seas, it does. Your master sounds like a great man. <sighs> but anyway, I owe you a drink. Many drinks, in fact. Tonight, <laughs> on me. Oh, thank you kindly, though. Just a couple, right? What are you suggesting? That we say no if it turns into more? And how's our pal here gonna feel about that, hmm? Uh, I guess... That's the spirit! Marky, bring us a bottle of... Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're talking! I miss you, dork. <laughs> I miss the seagoing dollies had a whole bunch of, of knockout effects, eh? Yeah, it's not easy being a man to see at the best times. I bet the water level rising has put a bunch of us useful landmarks out of sight. And the tides are as messed up as the fishermen said. I wouldn't even want to go out there. It's only the seas that have been affected. The whole world is suffering. Let's put an end to these calamities. Calamities? It was a calamity that brought me here, uh huh? I was lucky enough that you found me when you did. But not everyone's been so lucky. Our knife losing fishermen friend, for one. We need to help. We need help everyone who's been affected. And we will. We'll do whatever we can. Aye, even if we think like returning a lost knife, every little helps. Let's keep that in mind on our travels, eh? You're back! And in one piece, too! We took care of the wolf. The road should be safe now. Yes, a merchant friend told me he was ever so grateful as you might imagine. So grateful, in fact, that he gave me all the butter he had. <laughs> That's right. Sautéed silver smelt all round. Yes! This was so worth it. She's gonna hate it. I really hope so. Can't say I'm not a little curious to see how it actually tastes, though. <laughs> That's the spirit. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> exactly. Now, would you like to watch while I prepare it for you? Are you sure? That'd be great! Oh no. Uh, really? I bet she's gonna lose her appetite for it as soon as she sees it. What's the matter? I, uh, it's probably better not to see what it looks like before it's cooked. Don't, don't be silly. It'll be fine. I'm a woman of the world. I've eaten all kinds of weird and wonderful things in my time. Right. Well, I'll just hang back here if that's okay. What the heck 
is that? It's... Wait. Those are its eyes? Stop it! Stop looking at me! <laughs> <laughs> Fresh fish. Cooking with Adele. So, do you cook yourself, Adele? What's your specialty? Ha, do I ever. I make a mean stew. Turns to juicy meat that must fall off the bone. Freshly picked mushrooms, seasonal veggies. You can't go far if you get the right ingredients right. You mean anybody can make it? Ha, as if. You know you're making cuisine at my level? You'd be a master of matching those ingredients with one another. And you also need to have your own signature twist. Mine's honey. Honey in a stew? Does that really work? You bet it does, but only if you know how what you're doing. I should very much like to try one of these stews of yours, Adele. I'd be happy to make you one. Just so I have to the point of that disgusting fish in it. Service belt? Ha! The noise you made when you finally saw one. Please don't remind me. I'll uh, try my best. Won't be easy though. It was hilarious. He said it was disgusting looking. 